Mario Sports Video Games. Let's do this. Mario Power Tennis is a multiplayer sports video game. It's developed by Camelot and Nintendo SPD. That was released for the GameCube on the 20th of October 2004 and was ported to the Nintendo Wii on the 15th of January 2009. The game is a direct sequel to its predecessor on the N64 that includes many more variations of courts, 18 playable characters with added gimmicks, several modes of play such as Expedition, Ring Shot, Item Battle, Tournament, Singles and Doubles. Power Tennis received extremely high scores from many publications and was praised for its presentation, themes, court designs and extended gameplay. However, the Wii port received a mixed reception and was criticised for its use of motion controls and received a 65 out of 100 from Metacritic. Let's check it out. Let me just start by saying the game's opening cutscene looks amazing and isn't far from watching the Mario Bros movie. Nintendo and Camelot have definitely put some time and love into the animation. And this actually goes for about 5 minutes and explains the game's theme. Fantastic! Once we begin the game, yeah, there's some fun to be had here. Graphics and sound are superb, a big upgrade from its previous installment with a huge amount of dialogue, character animations and cutscenes. Controls are perfect and work just as good if not better than the N64. The player again has the basic shots such as slices, drop and lob, flat, smash and two new power shots, defensive and offensive. That saves the player from a hard to hit ball as well as a special move slash animation that retaliates with an aggressive power shot. Works great! An example of this is how character can warp to the ball and distract the opponent with a bamboozle of mini boos. One thing I don't like is the game literally stops for these animations. Every time. Not a fan of it, but moving on. The game is challenging too. I'm just playing on normal difficulty and I could not get past the bloody star cup. The music is dope as, it isn't for some of the Pokemon battle themes down in stadiums 1 and 2. It all adds to the immersion and atmosphere. Sounds great. Additional special games have been added to the title such as Artists on the Court where the player paints a picture of Mario. Eh, it's interesting and a little lame. Terra Tennis, trying to score points within a certain time limit while ghosts irritate and annoy the fuck out of you. Yeah, not for me. Tic Tac Glow, which is, yeah, just another variation. I guess it gives the game some variety, but they're all pretty similar. However, Mecha Bowser is probably the best. A spam fest boss battle. Now this is more up my alley. Chain Chomp Challenge, which is meh, feed the dog, bomb the rest. Pretty straightforward. Another great mode that stands out is the Gimmick Masters that all have a twist and variations with the courts. This one's pretty basic with a few gators attacking the players. Of course, more are unlocked as you complete the game. They all have different speed, bounce, ranging from weak to hard. You'll also notice that every character has different stats and moves that revolve around their set theme, which again works very well. To sum up Power Tennis, this is the best title of the series. The amount of content that's been added has amplified everything I love about the original game. As a first impression, this is a solid tennis experience and absolutely dumps all over Ultra Smash on the Wii U. I give PT a high 8 out of 10. All day, baby! Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is a sports video game. It's developed by Camelot Software, published by Nintendo, and was released for the GameCube on the 28th of July, 2003 for North America, the 11th of February, 2004 for Australia, and the 18th of June for Europe and the UK. The game is the third installment for the series that features 16 playable Nintendo characters, 7 courses, several modes of play such as doubles, coin slash ring attack, tournament, and 4-play split screen. 
Toadstool Tour made several improvements to its predecessor. The game was generally well received by critics. As of December 2007, sold 1.03 million copies in North America, and GameSpot named the title the best GameCube game for July 2003. Let's check it out. This and Power Tennis go hand in hand. Another beautiful cinematic intro of all the characters revealing the game's theme. The gameplay is significantly better than its predecessor, with again a whole bunch of assorted clubs, courses, characters and modes. The layout is pretty straightforward, but it might take a little bit to get used to. It features the player's holes and shots in the left hand corner, as well as the power meter below, clubs, yards and a few other bits and pieces that all can be changed to suit the player's shot. Full 360 degree rotation and the camera offers a top down and aerial perspective prior to hitting the ball which is a nice touch as well as instant replays. Won't lie the graphics are gorgeous and just like golf on the N64 the wind, rain and weather in general all plays a big part in the player's stroke. As for the other modes, yeah they're alright, I found stroke play and ring shot to be pretty frustrating. They're all pretty similar, a game like this is designed for multiplayer, oh no is that a slot machine? Oh, it's a slot machine. Ugh. Slot machine? This is worse than a virtual slot machine. There's always virtual slot machines. Moving on, I mean the game, it's just golf, but this is probably the best spin-off you're gonna get when it comes to the genre. There's only so much you can do, I guess. Still, a great game. Maybe I just suck at golf.